All right, all right. So the, by now you guys realize we are, uh, we're not shooting a podcast this week. So this is my, my live impromptu reaction video to the ICC-10, ICC-X keynote address. I took some notes here. So some interesting things here. Uh, so the keynote started with, um, you know, big announcements about change in leadership and uh, Steve Heckman and his wife are sending, stepping back. Um, but for the most part, um, ICC was focused around like partnerships. So here, I'm just going to list off the things that really stood out to me. All right. Um, number one, you know, I, my position is still that, you know, inductive automation is the premier acquisition target for basically all IT firms globally. Like I, I, I'd be stunned if Dell, Hitachi, fuck, even Microsoft or, or Amazon makes a play for inductive automation. I don't think it would be Microsoft or Amazon primarily because one of the announcements that inductive automation made later in the, in the show, in the keynote, was uh, Ignition Cloud, which I'm gonna talk about here in a second. And it, and it supported at both the Azure and AWS platform. So um, I wanna talk about uh, Colby Clegg is now the new CEO of Inductive Automation. This happened a few months ago. Colby and Carl came up together. They helped develop the platform from day one when they came out of UC Davis. Um, you know, they've been here forever. Colby is an, an excellent selection as the chief executive and Carl is now the chief technical officer. Um, for the first nine in, um, ICCs, they really were speaking together as uh, co-directors of software development for the platform. One of the interesting things that stood out to me is if you listen to Colby's speech, Colby's address is basically word for word what I say about Ignition. So the the with him being the leader, and I've had I had this conversation with him six years ago uh, over lunch, myself, Colby, Carl, Vanessa Garcia, and I think Travis was there. Um, I was saying, you know, I hate the fact that you guys market the platform as a SCADA platform. It's really a rapid application development environment. And that's how I actually sell it. Colby used that term today in the keynote address, which is obviously a big deal. It means that he's pivoting to more of a enterprise platform focus for the, for the, uh, for the Ignition platform, which goes in line with the announcement that they made later on in the keynote about Ignition Cloud, which I'm gonna talk about here in a second. Number two, um, I thought it was interesting that one of the things that they mentioned was Deloitte in some, in some industry reports that Deloitte had released. 10 years ago, one of the biggest differences is, is that 10 years ago, inductive automation would have never mentioned Deloitte at, at an ICC. So I think it's a much, I think it's a, it's a significant mention in the keynote that Deloitte of, of all the companies out there, all the industry organizations that do these industry analysis that Deloitte was the one they put up on the screen. That wasn't by accident. It is significant. I don't know what the significance is, but it is significant. And it, it and I think it, it's an indication of where inductive automation's view is sort of where they're going. And I think they are going in the right direction, which is focusing enterprise, focusing enterprise, focusing enterprise. The, the, the theme of Colby's or, uh, Colby's speech was uh, everything has changed and nothing has changed. So basically we're growing, we're growing at an exponential rate, but we're not going to abandon our values, right? Um, the big thing was the announcement of the Ignition Cloud Edition that comes out next year. So they talked about it next year. The first thing that jumped out at me is with this Cloud Edition, which is basically going to be available on AWS and Azure, you're going to be able to um, install Ignition as a container uh, using AWS and Azure and then use AWS and Azure pricing. So that pay-as-you-go model, you can scale and pay-as-you-go, similar to using existing AWS infrastructure. Um, the first thing that jumped out at me is, well, holy shit, that's really valuable, number one. But number two, what does this mean for 4IR's cloud infrastructure solution? So I'm going to be interested to see what 4IR is doing because they must be aware that the cl this cloud edition is coming. Number two, there's some important distinctions. They're gonna be including cloud connectors in the cloud version, but they won't be including device drivers. So with the cloud edition, you're not gonna be connect to be able to connect to equipment, but you will be able to connect to other cloud infrastructure. You will connect through the to the equipment through the existing ignition infrastructure, okay, specifically IoT protocols like MQTT. The major technical implications that jumped out at me was Azure IoT and AWS IoT 
will be replaced. Like right now in your cloud layer in, in cloud infrastructure, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to move away from native Azure IOT and, and AWS IOT uh, connectors in, in their, in their platforms and replace them with the ignition EAM web service, web socket, uh, OPC, MQTT, um, infrastructure for handling your industrial data and then you'll use connectors in the ignition platform to get out into AWS. It's actually kind of an and Azure. It's kind of brilliant architecturally speaking and I'd expect nothing less from Colby and Carl because they know what they're doing. A uh, couple of things that really stood out when they were talking about the integrator program. Um, you know, they were trying to solicit more members of the integrator program. I think they said there are 3,400 integrators in the program but they highlighted Grand Tech, Flexware, and DMC. I'm going to have a video coming out. Um, well, a couple of things that stand out to me. If you compare, you know, Grand Tech's a great firm. Flexware is a great firm. In fact, I'm the one who really pushed to get Flexware to become an, a, an ignition integrator. And today they're one of the biggest ignition integrators. And it's played a huge role in that Midwest market. I'm going to shoot a video on like how that whole thing happened. And when I met with Scout Whitlock via, um, who is the president at Flexware when I first met with him and brought him out here. I think it was 2000. I met him out here at ICC with uh, this guy named Brian McLean, 2016-17, um, and made the pitch. Hey, you should go all in on ignition. Um, it's great to see over the next the prevailing five or six years how that's that's flourished and the impact it's had on manufacturing in the Midwest. But, but the thing that stood out to me is DMC was one was the third integrator listed there. And when I look at in terms of technical chops. There, you know, DMC is is exceptional. My whole team and I we were talking about, hey, you know, I don't know how they recruit their people, or but in terms of being able to scale up their people um, and get over the the that initial learning curve, it's pretty exceptional. And then there was a long thing at the piece at the end where uh, Don Pearson talked uh, talked strategy. There was nothing really that really really stood out. What I will say is this, and you know, this is me being you know controversial Walker. There were uh, six projects that Travis and, and um, Kevin McCluskey highlighted at the end that are Firebrand Award winners. And my team and I, we really were just kind of like, yeah, you know, five of them, one of them really, really stood out. We were like, oh yeah, that's really cool. But five of them weren't really all that. I mean, they were, they were highlighting projects that had say 300,000 tags you know, uh, you know, hundreds of screens. And I'm thinking, you know, hell in 2013, we did 11 million tags and, you know, 2000 concurrent users on a single architecture. So I don't, I don't, that's been going on for 10 years. So that's not really that impressive. But what I will say is there was one project in there. I don't want to highlight which one it was, uh, cause I, I don't want, I don't want to offend anybody, but there was one project in those firebrands that's really, really cool. Some very, very cool integrations that they did and some really, really cool visualizations. So I, I, I'm looking forward to checking that out in the Discovery Galley. All in all, great keynote. You know, I would say the, the overall message is, hey, what people really need to take away from here is probably two things. Number one, inductive automation is definitely shifting their strategic focus to enterprise. That is definitely the focus. Whereas 10 years ago, it was definitely plant floor, small projects, land and expand, but they're definitely shifting their focus more on an enterprise focus. And they're gonna be highlighting that more and more um, as, we, as we move forward. And then Ignition Cloud, there's no way to, to uh, you know, overstate how big, how significant of an announcement that is. Um, you know, Ignition Cloud Edition is gonna be available with AWS and in the Azure stores and you're just gonna be able to spin up a machine using Ignition Cloud and pay through that infrastructure, which is a significant announcement and overnight becomes a vast improvement to the AWS IoT infrastructure and the Azure IoT infrastructure. One of the things that we talk about not supporting um, Spark Plug B natively with the Azure infrastructure, now with this new announcement, you're, this is the workaround. So um, very, very significant. Anyway. Um, please like, subscribe, share this video with anyone. We're not going to edit it. I'm just going to post it straight to YouTube so you guys have the announcement and the initial first responses. And I'll see you guys in the next one.